Hello again. Everyone is talking about Avaismos firmware for the Ender 3v3 SE. So let's give it a try. I mean, I think the best two things for this, maybe three, it's the seven point leveling bed, the possibility of using octoprint, which I will not because to use a cable from my printer to my PC, I will need a long cable, which will be all around the house. So I don't have anything against using the SD card, but so this is how the seven points leveling bed should look like. And the third one, is linear advanced and also the input shaping menu so there's a lot of cool things we can try but especially i'm interested in the linear advanced so let's see firstly and also you can mute the abuser so this is a very cool thing to have. There are a lot of things, so let's see. I hope I don't break the printer. So firstly, we will need an SD card, which I currently don't have, but I think I can get one from my other project. So turn off your printer, format your SD to FAT32. Recommend to use mini tool partition or G parted. Okay, we have the mini tool partition. And I need the last disk. Format. At 32. Okay. Apply. Apply. Yes. Okay. I think that's all. It is FAT32, so it should work. Let's go back. Uh, rename the file to something random. Wait, firstly, you have to have the firmware version 1.0.6, which I already have, and I think we have to go to firmware, and it should be this one. <coughs> I guess it's this one, right? Is the last one. Maybe it's just a guess. I don't know. I don't really know. But I guess this is the one. So download the file. Okay, we have it here. What else? Rename it to something. That bin. Okay. Let's see. Fingers crossed. I will move now to the printer and hopefully everything will stay the same. So, fingers crossed, this is the SD card. You have to put it inside and just press the power on button. That's it. Oh my God. So the beep, you can deactivate the beep. Cool. Let's do a leveling.
so as you can see it's somehow okay I have to do some adjustments to be perfect but everything is green so I can work with this then what else I'll adjust the offset just a little bit this uh, LCD beeper disabling is the lifesaver okay let's print something and we'll print something fast and we can also do a comparison because I have so this is the previous print it's also with Z offset 2.03 and we will do the same now to see if they if there are any changes with the linear adjustment it's pretty smooth but you can still see some uh, I mean of course you can see the lines it's 3d printed but it's kind of smooth let's see again how to look with this firmware okay in order to so this is the same g code and let's see what the tutorial says But anyway, if I remember correctly, you have to add for PLA on the top. M900 K0.045. So this is everything that you have to do. I'm not sure if it's mentioned here or not. No, it's not. So of course it can be helpful to go through everything here, but I guess I can just use this M900 and for PTG, it will be 0 0.08 or something like that, or 0 0.09. Let's save this as the, I don't know, Lavaismo, let's say, so. Okay. Let me close this. Okay, let's go back. Print. And we should have the Navaismo thing. this one as this one was printed and let's see it's a bit weird because I thought that the printing time remaining time and the percentages should be different but if we go to tune No, let's abort.
Hmm. Let me close it and open it again. So I thought we should see this reality man while printing, but I don't know, maybe that is just only for octoprint, so I'm not using octoprint currently, maybe this is the reason, let's see. And also I didn't add it now the glue on the bed maybe it will stick without it if not we can redo the test So, let's see what we can do. So this is the previous one, and this is the new one. They are more or less the same. This is the part that was on the bed. So they are exactly the same. The only difference is that is that with this one that I just got from the printer I guess it was what remained from the nozzle. But the other hands is the same. So maybe I'm not doing something right. I don't know. They are the same. I have to cut my nails, I know. But they are basically the same. So maybe it's applicable for larger prints I don't know but I can see any difference honestly so yeah so yeah guys as you saw maybe I did something different maybe this is not the way it should be done I don't know but for me honestly I can see a difference. So linear advanced. I don't really. Let's see a flash version and have span prints. Yeah, so I don't know. You have to do some changes in the slicer. But as this guy mentioned, it shouldn't be a visible difference. So I don't know. I'm happy that I can turn off the beeper. It's enough for me. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm glad my printer didn't break. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.